Hey, what's going on everyone? Matthew here. Welcome back to my gaming corner. And today I thought I'd show you, um, well, first of all, I apologize for not uploading any gaming videos for the past few months now, but anyway, that's beside the point. Um, so I just wanted to do something a little different today for um, my gaming channel and show you my preferred method of um, cleaning contact points on your uh, video game cartridges. And today, as examples, we're going to be using uh, two games that um, my sister actually uh, used to play um, years ago with um, the old school NES, and that are these games right here, uh, Tetris and Paperboy. So, what you're going to want to need is um, some Q-tips right here, some 91% or higher isopropyl alcohol, a uh, 3.7 or 3.8 uh, security bit uh, screw, right? Screwdriver, whatever you want to call it. And if necessary, I may show off um, how to also clean the contact points with um, these two pencil erasers right here. So the first step that you're gonna want to take to uh, clean uh, cartridge-based games, specifically the NES right here, as an example, uh, you're gonna want to remove like um, the three security screws that are on the back of the cartridge, like so. That's one, two, and three. And then the back cover of the cartridge just comes right off. And now we can see the contact points and how dirty they are. Excuse me. So, um... As you can see right here, it's um, kind of bad on this side, but it's, uh, let me see if I can get that in the camera, much worse on this side. That's a lot of dirt. The next step you're going to want to take is to take a Q-tip, dip it into your bottle of isopropyl alcohol like I already did. And all you need to do to clean uh, the contact points on the cartridge circuit board here is just rub it like this. Like so. Let me see if I can get that on camera. That's a fair amount of dirt that I've managed to collect there. So now we're gonna go the other way back by going through a second swab of it or whatever. And uh, doesn't look as bad as the second go right here, but um, it's uh, bad on the first try there. So um, you're going to want to dry it off uh, with the dry part of the Q-tip, like so. So that was the first side of um, uh, the Tetris uh, game cartridge circuit board. Now we're going to do um, the other side right here, which I expect to be a lot more worse than the first side. I don't know how many years uh, these games have spent in uh, my sister's old room but it's been long enough to accumulate a lot of dirt. Let's see, uh, 
I don't know how well the camera is able to pick that up, but that's a lot of dirt. A good amount of dirt. And now let's do the other side of uh, the wet and Q-tip and uh, go back to uh, where we started for scrubbing. So, um, yeah, this side's uh, like a lot worse than uh, the first side, so that's uh, pretty much said and done. Now, even though the cartridge uh, circuit board looks cleaner than uh, it did uh, a few minutes ago, um, there's still some spots there. I don't know how well um, the camera's picking it up. There's still some uh, spots there that are pretty dirty, so... Um, you might want to do a second scrub with like a isopropyl alcohol or whatever other solution that you have for um, cleaning contact points on uh, game circuit boards. But, um, so the next uh, step if you're not satisfied with um, the cleaning with alcohol is that um, you take um, a pencil eraser like this here and then you just uh, rub it against the circuit board here. See, uh, I was able to pick up a little bit of dirt right there, clean up a bit. Um, let me see if I can get some uh, eraser particles. Oops, sorry. And this is what I was able to collect. That's kind of gross. And now we're going to do the other side. I was adjusting uh, the eraser. There's even a good amount of uh, dirt on there too. Let me show you like uh, the eraser uh, bits that uh, came off there. They're still stuck on the board. Let me wipe some of it off. Yeah. So you pretty much get the gist of it already. Um, you usually uh give it a good scrub with some rubbing alcohol maybe once or twice and if that still doesn't work you could use um, try using an eraser and uh, if that doesn't work either um, you could try some other solutions um, I'm not gonna say uh, which ones uh, work just as good or if not better um, I, but you pretty much know uh, what other solutions I may be talking about or may not be talking about so I think uh, that's gonna be it right there folks um, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe for more future gaming videos. Take care of yourselves, have a good day, and I'll see you all next time.